now you've got little pockets everywhere else makes them harder to track them down and creates new points where they can gain a foothold and start spreading again said weffer the pig problem in illinois didn't start until about 2009 but instead of making it easier to hunt them the stent the state went the other way in many states you know you can shoot pigs year round we don't do that here in illinois said weffer in illinois if feral hogs damage your property, you have to get a permit to kill them. You can hunt feral hogs recreationally, but only for a limited time each year. Right now, there are only two known populations of feral hogs in the state. Weffer thinks that limiting opportunities to hunt them has been key to keeping their numbers down. So over time, hogs will aggregate and consolidate. And when you hunt them, they disperse. That's exactly and so the right. thought is if you leave them alone. Yeah. That's correct. They'll they'll congregate, they'll create a community, and they'll maintain their numbers. They will not grow. They'll, yes, there will be more um, elements to the ecosystem to help keep them in check. But if you sp- keep spreading them into ecosystems that are not used to them, they can run wild. I think that's the issue on the Stanley Tucci thing. Again, if that is what I'm thinking of, because mm-hmm. he's saying that there's no natural predator. That's so correct. that's all. Oh, but so then without the hunting, but maybe the, the, the periodic hunting is enough of a natural predator. We are enough of a natural predator to keep them in check. Is that the thought? Well, that's, what, that's, that's what that's what Weffer is, is hypothesizing here in Illinois as to why Illinois has not had the population boom of feral hogs that Texas has had. There have been feral swine in Kansas at least since the early 90s but we're a very different model than most places. Sport hunting of feral swines, never a swine has never been allowed here. And because of that, they're never really expanded. And I would guess that a lot of Kansans don't even know we have feral swine in Kansas, said Drew Ricketts, extension wildlife management specialist with Kansas State University. Thomas Eck, the Texas feral hog expert said it's unlikely that Texas policy policymakers would consider implementing something closer to the Kansas model. Do we know if the Texas hog population is the same as those? Like are those the hogs? Do they those hogs migrate over? I'm trying to I get, get to that. Like, to they say, have. Like, they have say, actually. Okay, yes, because from Texas, yeah. Okay, so that they are spreading, and now it's a matter of, okay, are we just in the middle of this transitional period? And they're like, well, our stuff isn't bad, but yeah, you give it time. It will be. You will yeah, be but overrun. they've had it. I mean, look, they've had hogs since the 90s, and they've never exploded in the way that Texas How long it takes is. for hogs to migrate and ex- population explode? Like, I have no well, idea. They're, they're, the, the, the article doesn't go into when Texas first, uh, like, first got their hogs, but the problem has definitely escalated, I would say, in the 2000s, definitely. So hunting has been proven to be a catalyst for population explosion. It is not correlation. It is a causation. That is what these researchers or these wildlife experts, these specialists at Kansas State University and in Illinois are, uh, are, are are basically professing. Yeah. OK. No, I mean, that's really interesting. Um, obviously, when you said it, I was like, you know, I got to hear this. Uh, and then when you started talking, I was like, I guess that makes sense. I mean. I guess it makes sense in a in a way where if you have these sounders isolated, they just breed in some way that's manageable because I guess you can only be pregnant and 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 give birth so many times and so many piglets at once. Is it a piglet? I don't know with a, with a baby warthog, mm-hmm. but um, but I guess if you're now dispersing them, that's more interactions between the sexes. Rather, well, I mean, that, I think that, that the, may not, the opportunity may not be there. Yeah. I well, think it's the not dandelion. A dandelion. You're not just like but spreading your seed. Well, it is. Well, that kind of well, that is kind of what we're talking about. Yeah, here. but there's that's nothing how needs you, to be popped. That's how not, babies nothing, get made. I don't but know. Nothing you needs to took sex ed, Jamie. But, but uh, nothing. <laughs> but that just needs to get planted and watered. There are a few reasons why this is in response. It's just more. To you're increasing the encounters, is what Tex- I'm saying. Yeah, there's there's a few reasons why in response to the Texas policymakers not implementing uh, a model similar to their uh, to these other states. Uh, For one, there is a robust feral hog hunting industry in Texas, a whole economic ecosystem of guides, landowners, and professional hog management services that exists because it's so easy to hunt hogs here. It would be extremely difficult to put that toothpaste back in the tube. It feels like a very Texas 
little Texas saying there. Also, there's something ironic about we can't fix the natural ecosystem because of our economic ecosystem. That's correct. Yeah. Got it. So for the foreseeable future, the status quo for feral hogs and tax fix will likely stay in place. Lots of hogs running around and lots of opportunities to hunt them. Now, this there is a little addendum to the article. The state's problem does not just affect Texas, however. Populations of hogs originally from Texas, this kind of answers your question, have been found in other states. People are moving them across state lines illegally in an effort to replicate the hog hunting opportunities found in the Lone Star State. That should be a felony. Holy cow. Doing so could also mean replicating all the problems that come with a feral hog infestation. Oh, ignorant. Are you kidding me? So first of all, you do answer my question, but kind of for the other reason, because I was like, all right, I understand. Like if they're naturally migrating over and it's at the slow pace, that's I feel like that plays into what I was saying before, but the people are intentionally bringing them over. Yeah, I don't even know how to like. I don't even know how to process that. I didn't. I, my head didn't even go there. To, Jesus, are you serious? They're bringing it over, knowing that there's this issue. So let me ask you this, because I'm trying to. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around what these people might be thinking, um, and and why they chose to ignore what is seemingly an ecological disaster in Texas. In Texas, okay, there's more hogs than the, you can see the hogs. There's so many hogs, people can see them. Yes, and um, yeah, even in suburbs. In fact, what, they've had a few people who is there died a financial, as a result of it. Are there financial damages that the towns and and, and state yeah, is incurring because about it in of the, the hogs? Very yeah, you did. It's billions of dollars. It's um and, what, and so it's over a billion dollars. Okay, but what about this financial ecosystem of hunting? What is that generating in terms of revenue for the know. state? That I don't know. Because I'm have I'm just scratching my head of okay, why why would anyone do that and how could they not be i mean are they prosecuted is that illegal to, to, to cross state lines that yeah I know. with the I hogs know. to try and replicate an ecological disaster i mean there would need to be a federal gain. there would need to be a federal law against it which i feel the article would have probably referenced if there was so there probably isn't i mean well no they said it's illegal they did say they're illegally doing it so there is a federal law that that is uh, against doing so Yes. Holy cow. I mean, that is they said that it's illegal to do it. So uh, actually, there is a link to skyrocketing number of feral hogs in the U.S. has become pig bomb. That was in 2019. Um, But yeah, I think it is illegal to to transport them. I mean, I can only imagine out of desperation. Uh, Here it is. Only way they can find to make money. The illegal transportation of wild pigs on the underground wild pig railroad has caused a massive explosion in population for the animals. Uh, in a term zoologist John Jack Mayer has coined a pig bomb. I wonder what does it go into what constitutes the billion dollars in damage? Like, what are the pigs doing? Are they destroying crops? Are yes. They- yeah, it's it's crops. crops. Um, it's it's like a lot. I mean, yeah, it's I think like they're a threat to like wild wildlife, like uh, wildlife, wild uh, livestock, things of that nature. Mm. Uh, th- but th- this is something that I should add here because I I forgot about this. Feral hogs are an invasive species largely introduced to North America by Spanish conquistadors of the 1500s. So so they've been around for a long time and had not reached the height of population that they have gotten to in the in the since basically hunting them became wow. everything. Yeah. Why did the hunt start? I'm assuming there's some I assume they were always hunted, but something changed. It says this this guy here in this other article, Mayer, who has been working with feral hogs as wild pigs for over 40 years, told KSAT that starting in the 1970s and 80s, wild pigs became the second most popular big game animals in North America, second only to white tailed deer in the numbers harvested annually. What was there like the Association of Wild Hog Hunting put out some advertising to yeah, gen- it sounds like it. It sounds and, like it. It sounds like and, the, yeah. And because that, there was an influx in hunting and disbursement, subsequent that's, disbursement, that's probably what we there was get this, to. yeah, there was this side effect that no one foresaw yeah. and no one, no one cared to, to acknowledge more or less, more or less. Wow. Well, there's a good example of, yeah, a great follow up to the other story of like short-term gains and complete long-term ignorance. Yeah. 
Holy cow. Uh, the, 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 the idea that someone would try and replicate that should be the this. title of the episode. Short term gains, long term ignorance. There you go. <laughs> it's not I bad. mean, that's just blowing my mind that someone would try and replicate that, knowing that they could decimate their state's ecosystem. Now, I, the thing is, in my head, I know how bad this is because of the YouTube videos, but there was one YouTube video I watched of a prolific hog trapper. And he in the video, he was he said that his lifetime hog count because they count a lot of these guys are very proud of the count is that he has trapped and killed 43,000 hogs. And he and that's an estimate of about 2% of the population in Texas. How many hogs average in a sounder? I, I don't know. I don't know. You're asking me too many questions. Oh, I was just curious because if that is his death toll, his yeah, kill count. Death toll. Yeah. We're talking about disbursement. Like how many hogs is he dispersed? Because that's his impact. Well, the people who know are the people who are giving me advice on how to trap them. And then they're how not many giving you numbers? They're just saying that this, the size depends on the, the trap you're using should be. Per... Yeah, it's there's, fine. There's it doesn't no matter. Number. Well, it's clearly matter. it's more than it's more than two. And uh, this dude's responsible well, in the, in the picture for... here in the picture here for a sounder. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four, fifteen, fifteen hogs mm. in the sounder 15. in this picture. Times that, times the amount of piglets in a in a litter, <laughs> whatever it is. I mean, geez, man, that's a lot. The math consumes us. Yeah, I'm terrible at math, but um, that's 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 a big impact. Holy cow! And that's just one dude. Yeah, good for him. 